Morning. And welcome back to Zion. Thanks for coming out for worship this morning. This, of course, is a very special morning as we move towards Christmas. This is our Sunday School Christmas program that we're doing today. And um, uh, along with that, uh, we'll have communion and we'll do kind of elements of our regular worship service as well. So to start things off, we'll begin, as we usually do, with confession and absolution. As you're able, if you would rise. We begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, we confess that we sin against you in our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. We commit sins we know and sins we aren't aware of. We are sinners by nature who sin by choice. We ask your forgiveness for the sake of your Son who came at Christmas to save us. Upon this your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of Christ, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And instead, and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you and praise you that you bring us together in anticipation of the birth of your Son. We thank you for these, our children, who are speaking your word to us today and blessing us with the message of the gospel and the message of Christ. Help us to be centered and focused throughout this worship service and throughout this season on Jesus who came to die so that we might live. All this we pray in your Son's name. Amen. Please be seated, and we'll get started with nativity, lights, camera, action. It didn't come. Um, well, we ordered them in plenty of time. But this is the biggest day of filming. We have perfect light, the greatest actors and actresses. We've got a deadline. I know, I know, but they said that they ran out. Ran out? Yeah. Ran out of sheep? That's what they said. How can you run out of, never mind, it's too late. We'll have to think of something else. What about the gospel choir we hired? What about the? They canceled. They canceled, yeah. Great, great. Is there any great good news? Well. Dare I ask about the angel costumes? Lost in a fire. The manger props? Actually, those are just held up in customs. Hello? Uh-huh. Arigato Matsuki-san. Yeah, those just got deported. What's going on here? Is someone deliberately sabotaging this production? Hello? Uh-huh. Thanks. Okay, so now the whole cast is on strike. Something about the food. What are we going to do? I have to make this movie. Where are we going to get people to make this movie? Are you meaning to tell me we're going to have to use church people? Well, they are here. Okay, we're looking for stars. Anyone ever wanted to be a star on the big screen? Any stars in the audience tonight? You just happened to have all those stars already made, did ya? You all come together? What do you call yourselves? Superstars! Nice. Hey, they look like they've got it together. What was your name of your group again? Superstars! This could be fun. You call yourselves what? Superstars! That name again? Superstars! Well, superstars, we've got a deadline. We're making a movie here, people. Light set. Tape roll, stand by, cue music, and action! Bright. 
bright lights, big screen, makeup and costumes and actors and everything in between, Mary and Joseph, she's pregnant and showing, we're taking the story of Jesus' birth and we're making a movie. Angels and shepherds and Stevens, our director. We're working with a budget so we don't have a projector. It's the instant Christmas show. Call NBC. The audience wanted more wise men, so now we've got 17. Papa. Because of James Cameron, we rented equipment to film it in 3D. We've got cameras and lighting and divas that are fighting. It's the most religious show since the release of Bruce Almighty. It's the instant Christmas show. The Christmas show.
Well, they aren't professionals, Mr. Director, but I think they'll do just fine. Besides, with the story we're telling, I think it's fitting we've got people who are unprepared. Unprepared? We're making a movie here. People need to be trained, schooled, skilled, and qualified. It's not like Mary and Joseph were trained or prepared for what God gave them. They were told ahead of time. God sent that angel, right? They had it under control, right? Well, yeah, God did send the angel Gabriel to both Mary and Joseph, but it didn't prepare them to be parents of God's son. I don't think you get the whole picture. That's because we're making a picture. And speaking of the picture, where's my next group? Scene two cast, you're on set. Okay, you'll do fine. Stand on the X. Places, everyone, for the journey to Bethlehem scene. I need storm, lightning, and sad. Scary music. Cue the rain machine and jet engines for maximum hurricane effect. Tape roll and... Wait a minute. Did it really happen like that? I don't know, but it's great filmmaking. Start music and action. Um, Mr. Director, I don't think they like it. Don't like it? What's not to like? The storms, the wind, the conflict? Well, yes, I think pretty much all of what you just said. It was a long, difficult journey to Bethlehem. What do they want? Rainbows and ponies? I don't know. Let me ask. Wait, I didn't mean... Do you want rainbows? Rainbows! Do you want ponies? Ponies! Well, there you have it. It's what they want. Are you kidding me? Was Jesus a hippie? This isn't God's spell. Do you want rainbows? Rainbows! Do you want ponies? Ponies! Enough! It's what they want, Mr. Director. Fine, church people. So, so, annoyingly joyful. Let's try it again, this time a little more happy. Due to the census, Mary and Joseph were on their way to Bethlehem, which was Joseph's hometown. The sun was shining, their faces were smiling, and it could not have gone any better. Joseph, seemingly followed by a lot of animals, found their way to a bed and breakfast and met the kindly innkeeper and his wife. Mary was showing some signs of discomfort and Joseph was showing some signs of impatience. Oh, happy day. was bald and he never really took it very well. He wasn't fooling anyone with that horrible hairpiece and unfortunately the innkeeper didn't have any room and he wasn't sure how to tell them for they were such a happy couple. Since everyone was singing, including the massive number of animals now surrounding the inn, he decided to sing his response. Oh, happy day. Joseph, still smiling and surrounded now by a contingent of animals that would populate a medium-sized zoo, asked if there was anything the innkeeper and his wife could do. The innkeeper, worried about his hair, didn't answer, but his wife had an idea. Oh, happy day. A 
stable. Hmm. Well, it was better than nothing. And one of the animals thought it recognized the innkeeper's toupee as their Aunt Gertie. Mary, Joseph, and all the animals made their way down to the stable, got comfortable, and before you could even say, how do you do? Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. The light, the truth, the way. The Savior was born today. just keeps getting better and better. These kids are great. What else do we know about Jesus' birth? Well, it was a big deal. People have been talking about it for hundreds of years. You're kidding. No, whole books of the Bible talk about what kind of man Jesus would be, what miracles he would perform. It's as if God was letting everyone know what was going to happen. And when he was finally born, how did people react? As soon as they laid eyes on him, they saw he was something special. Hold it. Hey, hey, I said hey. I'll handle this. Shh. 
What's going on here? One at a time, please. What, puppets? Will someone please tell me? I think what they're meaning is that they read in the description of the movie that there would be special effects, puppetry, Jim Henson kind of stuff. They're the shepherds who finally made it to the stable. Oh, yes, of course. Let me see what you've got. Are you kidding me? Socks? Stickers? What is that, felt? Well, they're also the Sunday school classes. At least let them show you what they can do. No. Oh, come on. They've worked so hard on these. I think they've got movements and everything. No. Please. Oh, <laughs> fine. Let me see what you've got. I might get something useful out of this for the blooper reel, at least. Cue music, tape roll, standby, action. From the first moment I laid eyes on him, I saw he was something special. And I knew things were gonna change, oh, change. And I felt in my heart that this They say, I know my savior, he was born on Christmas Day. I felt in my heart that this boy, he would be the one who would save you and me. Doesn't matter what tests and trials and troubles come your way. I know my savior, he has brought a brighter day. And I felt in my heart that this boy, he would be the one who would save you and me. to me.
Wow, this is going to be great. Get Christina Aguilera on the phone. We've got some negotiating to do. I'll get right on that, Miss Director, but do you know what's coming up? More amazing music, more fantastic singing, more of these fine church folk who are doing an incredible job? Um, no, it's the finale. Ooh, the finale. Yep. Well, they've handled it so far, right? Right. These people have outperformed the greatest stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, right? Right, but this is it. This is the most important part of the whole movie, Jesus' birth. The single most important event in the history of everything. God's son is about to be born. This is a big deal. Well, after what I've seen, I think this church and these people will handle this just fine. Okay, people, scene forecast, the finale. I wonder what it was like back then to actually see it happen. We've got to get this part just right on the money. I need the source material. Anyone have the source material? Ah, you're a small person, aren't you? Remind me to give you a raise. Okay, let's see here. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the, of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, Reassured them, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about.
And cut! That's a wrap, people! So these guys have put a tremendous amount of work into this, and so have the people, our Sunday school teachers who have been working with them for the last month. So one more time, let's, uh, let's recognize all that work. <laughs> great job, you guys. That was awesome. Um, the great thing about the Christmas story is, in many ways, it speaks for, its, for itself. Uh, it's about a God who comes and who dwells with us, uh, and in the words that we just heard, who comes to save us. Uh, and so, in response to the message that we just heard, in response to God's word, and in response to his action of coming to earth and saving us, we continue with confessing our faith in the words of the creed. As you're able, please rise. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before. We join together now in the prayer of the church, and in our prayers this morning, we have a couple petitions to add. We want to pray for Richard Morris. That's Kevin's dad. Uh, he underwent a stroke, and he's in recovery for that now. Uh, for Lonnie Sivia also, who's undergoing health concerns. I want to thank God for the birth of Ellie Marie Hawkins, born to Nathan and Sarah Hawkins. Uh, it's the granddaughter then of Larry and Gerilyn Hawkins, and the great-granddaughter of Gerald and uh, Joan Borland. Uh, we want to also pray for, uh, for the birth of Timothy Atticus Riley to Mary 
uh, Mary and Will Riley, formerly Mary Jones, and so that's the grandson, uh, grandson of Pat and Scott Jones. I'm going to thank God for his birth as well. Um, I want to pray also this morning for, of course, the families of those who, were, uh, who, who passed away in the, uh, the warehouse collapse in Edwardsville um, and the other collapses that took place across the country as a result of the weather. I want to pray for the family of Ron Clarkson. That's uh, Pastor Meyer's nephew, and he passed away suddenly yesterday. Um, I want to pray also for Karen Atterbury, the sister of Cheryl Ross, who was diagnosed with ca- cancer, and uh, for Jerry Pointer, who uh, has a recurrence of cancer and is on chemo now. We pray. Heavenly Father, you rescue the daughter of Zion from her enemies, and you take away the judgments against her. Look with compassion on your people wherever they suffer for the name of Jesus. Give them wisdom when they're pressured to compromise. Provide when they suffer loss. Give courage when they are afraid and strengthen them in the midst of persecution until you deliver them. Preserve them always in the joyful hope that you will restore all that is lost with what cannot be taken away. Lord, in your mercy. Almighty God, you once sent messengers before the face of Jesus to prepare his way. So strengthen and encourage all pastors and church workers as they make known his saving name. Open the ears of all who hear to rejoice, repent, and firmly believe. Guide and bless our call processes here at Zion for associate pastor of family ministry and principal. Lord, in your mercy, giver of all good gifts, look upon the households of your people. Provide companionship for those who are alone. Strengthen the bonds of marriage and equip parents to raise their children in love and faith. Grant that our homes may be places of joy, reasonableness, peace, and prayer. We remember especially today uh, the families and households of John and Marilyn Sticht, Bob Stiglitz, Tim and Susie Stinson and family, Jesse Stone and family, Judith Stone, Sam Stoner, Don Street, Karen Street, Gloria Season, and Teresa Season. We remember also especially uh, the, the Hawkins household and, uh, and the Riley household. We thank you for the birth of Ellie Marie Hawkins and Timothy Atticus Riley, and we pray that they be brought quickly to the waters of holy baptism. Lord, in your mercy. Heavenly Father, your Son became flesh and healed the sick, with all, uh, who were sick with all kinds of diseases and afflictions, demonstrating his power and giving us a foretaste of the resurrection on the last day. Have mercy upon all those who are in need of deliverance. We remember, especially this morning, Richard Morris, Lonnie Sivia, Wendy Osborne, Bruce Doris, Dominic Dykstra, Ray Brown, Dorothy Asbury, Ruth Balmer, Danny Wiesman, Marlon Shanebaum, Myron Bollinger, Jackie Wilson, Sandy Podner, Joan Berry, Dolly Meiniger, Ted Betcher, Tiffany Lubinsky, Kathy Sawyer, Bob Schaefer, Anna Mae Shanebaum, Kathy Kurtois. We remember the families of the Amazon workers who passed away and those that are still missing. The family of Ron Clarkson, Karen Atterbury, Tony Goforth, Jerry Pointer, Sandra Greenberg, Peggy Graham, Holly Johnson, Doris Schoburn, David Knobloch, Uh, Jack Morton, Robert Guthrie, Jim Edwards, Bobby Cummins, Julie Morrow, Gordon and Shirley Abbott, Mary Emdy, Brian Morris, Daryl Bertels, Alicia Albers, Shireen Morton, Leroy Sinks, Pam Voyle, Steve Dorr, Dave Tainer, Nancy Dorr, uh, Reverend Dennis Brandt, Janet Pickering, Annie Radcliffe, Buzz Buzz Kindle, Lori Clitheroe, Alex Geertz, Luke Millard, Renee White, Karen Leahy, Lori Whipple, Shirley Jones, Colette Sawyer, Christy Morris, Coy Chafin, Heidi Reynolds, Rita Pickard, Brian Hale, Dr. Miriam Brown, uh, Missy Wiesman, David Wilson, Cindy Stoner, Levi Gott, Tegan Davis Holt, Cecil Thomason, Ernie Hyman, uh, Jim Woolsey, Dan McRae, and Diane Soretto. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, the Son of Man came eating and drinking with sinners that he might proclaim the kingdom and welcome them. Uh, welcome them in by the forgiveness of sins. He hosts his supper this day for his repentant people. Grant those who partake of his body and blood to be worthy and well prepared, firmly believing in the words given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Lord, in your mercy, into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray together. Our Father.
Christmas is a time when we celebrate the presence of God, the presence of God who took on flesh and came to be born in a manger for the forgiveness of all our sins. The Lord's Supper is a time when we also celebrate the presence of God, when he comes to be with us in a very special way, in, with, and under the bread and wine for the forgiveness of sins. These things are given and shed for you. It's instituted at the Last Supper on Thursday night before he's crucified. And at that time, our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, We'll continue with distribution. Uh, The way we'll do distribution is how we have been doing it. If you haven't been here in a little bit, we're doing a continuous style now. Uh, So we'll start over here with you guys, and then uh, we'll do this section next. We'll have you guys come out the middle and around this way, uh, and then we'll go over here, and we'll come over uh, to you guys as well uh, at the end. Um, If you're visiting with us this morning, we are very blessed and happy to have you here, especially during the season leading up to Christmas. It's a great time to be in church. Um, We like to talk about community before we partake of it together. So if we haven't had a chance to do that yet, if you would hold back on communion uh, for now, and you can touch base with me afterwards, we can set up a time to sort of talk about what we believe about communion uh, before we take it together. Uh, Let's continue with distribution.
As you're able, please rise. Now may the true body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen and preserve you in the one true faith to life everlasting, to part in the peace and the joy of the Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. Please be seated. Um, just to wrap things up this morning, we have just a couple of announcements. Uh, one is, uh, oh, one is just a reminder. Um, Mass, of course, in the, the two Sunday morning services, this one and the early service are optional, but if you come to the Saturday night service, just a reminder to everybody, at the Saturday night service, that's kind of our high precaution service, so we do ask that you wear them there if you, uh, again, if you come to Saturday night, and I'll, we'll say that this weekend and next weekend, just to remind everybody. Um, Second, uh, don't forget we're doing the Bible in a Year podcast, and uh, we're, we're, as a congregation, reading through the entire Bible in one year. So for this week, it was Genesis, uh, and we talked about Genesis 49 and the other two services. For Wednesday, it's Amos, so it's only nine chapters of Amos, not too bad, right, before Wednesday. Uh, uh, so read that, and then when you come to the Advent service on Wednesday evening, we'll talk about Amos. Uh, if you haven't joined us yet, it's always a great time to join us. You can jump in any time, but it's really easy. You just go to the website. You can click play where you see Zion Bible in a year, and it'll give you the most recent episode. Um, last but not least, uh, our canned food competition update between us and the school. You may have seen before service that uh, by the last count, it was 710 for the church, 701 for the school. So we're ahead, but just by a little bit. Uh, it's neck and neck. The last day to bring in cans for that is December 15th, which I think is on Friday, if I'm not wrong. Um, nope, that's not right. 12 plus 3 is 5, so <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah, I'm great at math. Um, the, uh, the, so 15th is the last day to bring in cans. Uh, if you've got some, make sure you bring them in. And, uh, oh, and the other thing is, on the canned food thing, think for just a minute about how awesome this is. Uh, Hope Center is going to get at least 1,400 cans of food for people that don't have it uh, because we're having fun at Christmas and competing between each other. That's really cool. Um, so, yeah, think about that as you go out, and Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>